What's up, guys? It's time for some Project Ozone 3. God, that was a really bad intro, but I'm keeping it. Feeling too lazy. Um, so, in between episodes, I've done a lot of stuff. So, first thing is, I have done Abyssal Craft, and fuck this mod in particular. Oh my god, this was fucked. So, these things here, the Abyssal fucking Wasteland Essences, can suck my asshole. They take so long to get. Okay, so let me show you what you have to do once you make the portal, which the portal is the staff here. Okay? So once you make that, you have to go into the Abyssal Wastelands, which this is the gateway. Okay? And once... Give it a second to load, of course. Um, so... The whole beginning of the mod isn't bad. It's just a bunch of crafting, really. But once you get to this point, so you get into the Abyssal Wasteland, which I really like the way this place looks. This is really nice. What you have to do is you have to right-click mobs with this staff, and you have to do it to 100, and then you get one of those gems. You need eight of those gems, so you have to do that 800 times. Okay, and that is what allows you to get the uh, shards here, uh, the Oblivion Catalyst, which then you have to craft inside of the Virtual Altar using PE from your Necronomicon, and I never upgraded my Necronomicon because I could give two fucks less, because fuck this mod, and I had to do that 12 times. Okay, so, anyway, that mod, I, fuck that mod, and then I did some more into Lordcraft, um, I made the portal, which I'll show you the Ascension Matrix, I'll show you the Lordcraft area, um, I really, this is also really beautiful, um, basically, the only reason you have to come here is you have to come talk to this guy in order to get a quest to uh, progress in the mod. Um, and I'll show you my Lordcraft prog progress. Uh, let me get my book here. So you can see inside my book, I have almost everything learned. Um, you have to do Void Power. That's the one you have to talk to that guy for Void Power. You don't actually have to do the quest, you just have to talk to him. Alright, next thing. You'll notice two things over here. So I'll talk about the first one, which is the Celestial Manipulator from Draconic Evolution that I talked about making. Um, really simple. Dragon Eggs, some Draconium, Redstone, Wyvern Core, which is Nether Stars. Really simple. Uh, we're growing Nether Stars now. Um, so, I put a Nether Star Crux down here, which the Nether Star Crux is really simple it's like four it's two nether stars a block of diamond wither soul and some supreme essence and it just allows nether stars to grow and so you get this essence and then you take the essence and it's eight essence gives you one nether star shard and then three of these gives you one nether star so we have, yeah, we have 32 nether stars. So that's not bad. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's a good way to get it. Um, also, I've been doing Grains of Infinity. <sighs> yeah, because I really hate doing uh, the whole lighting bedrock on fire bullshit. And I was progressing through Ender IO um, in order to do the mob spawner for. Because I thought I could make a mob spawner for Abyssal Craft, but I couldn't, and so I made some Ender I.O. shit, so we have a Soul Binder, and it, it, anyway. The next thing is, you notice we have a Quantum Quarry. Now, I didn't realize this was so easy to make. I thought they tweaked the recipe on this. So if we go to Quantum Quarry, you need a you need six actuators, which is really cheap. It's just Stone Burnt, a pickaxe, and end rods, which... They're super cheap to make. And then you need a quantum quarry, the main block. In order to do that, you have to make a magical snow globe. So, the way you make that is you make this one here. Which is just 
some random shit. It's not that comp, not that hard to make. I could probably honestly make another one. Yeah, so there's the recipe. Um, so you have to take this to two different uh, areas. And basically, I'll show you what I did. So I'll make one just to show you. So you can see it, it crosses out a couple of the uh, things as I'm just kind of flying around. And then as soon as I go in the nether, watch what happens. I was just in the nether. Why is it not loading? I was in the nether like 10 minutes ago. What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, so when we get in the nether, you see a bunch more get crossed out. And then when we go to... Where else do you have to go? I think it might be the end. Is that one of them? Let's see. Yeah, so when you go to the end, it basically just instantly fix, instantly finishes, and then you can use that to make the actual quantum quarry. But I don't need one of these, so we're just going to dump it back in. Also, our end is fucked up because I was using this to spawn withers so they wouldn't fly away from me. Um, so, with that quantum quarry, I'm using it for a couple things. Um, oh, yeah, it's in my bed. Um, so, the first thing I'm using it for is I'm using it for um, quartz, or, sorry, marble. Because if you didn't know, if you take normal chisel marble and you chisel it, you can make all the astral sorcery module marble, which is what I'm working on now is astral sorcery. Um, why is that not pulling? Okay, but and I'm voiding a ton of shit. So you can see here, this is everything I'm voiding. And then I have just the ores going into this furnace. It's We're not getting a lot of ores, but we're getting... Why is that there? We're getting some passive ores, like we're getting quartz, which is nice. So a little bit of uranium, some lithium, just some random shit. Um, and then we're getting all of this extra stuff, like simple crystals from Lordcraft. This came in really handy. So the next thing that we're going to be going to, and you see I have a couple dislocators. If you didn't know how to make these. Uh, it's just simple from Draconic Evolution. It's Draconium Dust, Blaze Powder, Eye of Ender. And then you make the little pedestal, which is just some slabs and stone. Um, so I have one bound to home, and then I have another one that's not bound. And so this is called the Lost Cities. This is how you make a Lost Cities portal. So it's two block of lava, okay, which you get those in the nether. They're just around magma. They were actually pretty easy to find. What the hell? They're pretty easy to find. But now when I click on my bed, it teleports me to the Lost Cities. And this place is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if whoever made this mod, if he world gen this or what he did. But this world is gorgeous. I love the buildings. So what I'm here for... Is you'll see that you can find astral sorcery structures in the lost cities dimension so I'm gonna go ahead and detect that just because I'm in here um, so I need to be able to make or to use the crystals now in a normal mod pack you'll find these astral sorcery temples inside just randomly in the world gen but since we're skyblock we have to do it through the lost cities and if you've never done uh, Astral Sorcery, um, I know all these tomes because I've been getting them out of my mob farm. So you need a, a floating crystal to start with, an Astral Sorcery. And what the hell is my dog eating? Oh, God, my game froze. But anyway, you need this in order to be able to get Starlight, okay? So the easiest way to do this that I have found is you block up the water, you mine all of this, and you mine a hole. So now this has direct access to the moon, okay? And I'm going to keep these just so I don't have to chisel them. So the next thing I need to do is we got to get some iron ore. Now, I don't know what kind of world gen this has, so I'm just going to dig down really quick. What the fuck is it? My dog is eating, chewing on something, and I don't know what. Okay, so there is... 
Looks like it's just a lot of marble. Let's vein. Actually, let's not vein mine with that pickaxe. Let's vein mine with this pickaxe. Okay, so there is iron ore. So I'll show you a little trick here. Um. So you take iron ore, and then we're going to need to make a wand from Astral Sorcery. Let's just mine our way out. Um, so we have a crystal. So this is going to allow us to get starlight. So let's go home. Actually, let's set... Okay, so I need... Yeah, this is my home one. Alright, so you notice how that used a usage on it, and there's, what, 15, 19 left? If we put it in a pedestal, it won't use uses on us. So now that we've done this, we can actually start into... What the hell? Oh, that's just for the Lost Cities. Um, we can actually get into to some Astro Sorcery. Now, personally, I absolutely love Astro Sorcery. This is one of my favorite mods ever. So we got to make a resonating wand. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you the book for Astro Sorcery. You have to do Lordcraft. You have to make the pure crystals. Um, just to let you guys know that. Um, so for... We need a... No, we need a linking tool, but that's not... It, a resonating wand is what it's wanting us to make. Which is simple, we can make one, boom. Okay, we have a resonating wand. Give me my RAKs, perfect. Now, the thing that we actually want to make is we want to make a linking tool. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to do starlight crafting. So, in order to get into starlight crafting, we need this here. So, this is just your basic luminescent crafting altar. And you can see this little bar that fills up. Let me place it again. See how that little bar fills up? That is starlight. And starlight is really cool. Um, let me find... Where was that other crafting table? I didn't mean to do that. So inside of here we can make what's called a grindstone. So we need two sticks, we need two wood, and we need a marble. So let's go ahead and get our sticks. You know what? Why? I'm tired of making sticks. Make me 5,000 sticks. Why is it not making me sticks? What? Okay. Uh, I'll make my own fucking stick then. Marble. We need some marble. So. This makes us a grindstone. What? Why is it not? I forgot. You gotta right click with a resonating wand. So what this allows us to do, the grindstone, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna set this up here because we're gonna be moving this to that other dimension. So what this allows us to do is take the um to take aquamarine and star metal. We don't technically shouldn't have star metal yet, but we do. You can take star metal and you can turn it into the dust. Star metal dust. Or star dust. But what is it wanting us to do with that? Oh, it's wanting us to make a light well, but we don't have crystals yet. What? Oh, I see what it's wanting us to do. Okay. Not a problem. Dislo... I want to make a new dislocator because I want to put that closer to where our little area is. Give me that. Perfect. And then we can just right-click the pedestal to go wherever we want. Alright, so I'm going to put this a little closer to our little area over here. And I'm probably going to put that Celestial Manipulator in this area. So let's right click here. Perfect, it's set. So if we take this resonating one and we put it in our hand and we fly around, we should be able to see little wisps um, come up on the ground. Does that not work anymore? 
Because that's how you see where um, crystals are, right? Yeah, this should be showing us crystals. Why is it not... Why is it not showing me astral crystals? Why is my fucking game freezing every five seconds? What the shit? Every time I hit that damn record button, my game starts to freeze. Oh, lovely, I'm on fire. That's nice. What the fuck? There we go. Is that? Yeah, there's rock crystals. Why is it not showing me rock crystals? Huh. But anyway, this is what we're looking for is rock crystals. Okay? Um, so I'm going to work on getting some of these because we actually need quite a few of these. And I'm going to figure out why the fuck my game is freezing. And I will be right back with you guys. Alright, everybody. I am back. And as you can see, we have an RF Tools builder, which is currently quarrying us for us in the deep dark. So... I'm actually here to remove this um, because we don't need this anymore. Um, so I'm going to let it empty this chest, this crate real quick while I talk to you for a minute. So what I've been doing in between cuts there is I've actually done a lot. Um, so I don't know why, but every time I go in the Lost Cities dimension, my game almost crashes every time. And I don't know why. Um, so basically, I had to move our entire astral sorcery setup to our main base area. After doing that, I set it. I went through astral and did all of that. Got it all set back up. Oh yeah, I forgot I have it open to land because I had to change because I was letting my computer run. Um, so we can actually. Put, we're going to put this in with here because we don't actually need it. Um, so let me show you what I've got going on. Uh, why did that not... I don't even know where the hell that went. There we go. So first things first, over here, you can see this is how I was handling the quarry. Um, basically, I was just shoving stuff through ender chests, sending it into this chest, pulling out the non-ores, putting them in here, and then I was voiding some random shit, which I'll show you here. Um, and this has actually got us quite a bit of items, but the reason I had that quarry set up is that I needed some aquamarine. Now, I have more aquamarine than I'll ever use now, but we have a ton of ores, and I'm just going to let all this finish processing. Um... So that's all set up there. So over here, you will see we have a complete astral sorcery setup. And I can go ahead and dump all this stuff in here because I don't need any of this anymore. So what did I do? I basically, let me get the book. I just went through astral sorcery as you normally would and just basically speed ran through the mod until I could get to the starlight infuser. Um, I set this up just because we're, I don't plan on ever using it. But I need resonating gems for the Philosopher's Stone. So, uh, another thing is, you can see uh, in the sky over there, uh, we have constellations. Let me get my book. And you'll be able to see that I am uh, attuned to Evorcio. That was just the one that happened to be in the night sky at the time. And it it's the one I picked. Um Real quick, I'm going to do this. Uh, so a couple things that there's not really much you can automate in Astral Sorcery. Uh, one thing you can automate is the Starlight Collection. Um, you just put light wells with some fluid pipes going into a tank. And then this here is a Celestial Crystal. 
and that is how I was getting those. Um, and all you do is you put a, here I will actually show you. Uh, you take a normal rock crystal, take you a bucket of starlight, you place it, you huck in a stardust and a crystal, and you see you get the blue things, and then it will turn into a little cluster in a minute, and then it just grows, and you have to let it hit stage four. So, after all of that, I believe we can finally make a Philosopher's Stone, and it's an ultimate crafting grid, and we can make one. So, are you guys ready for this? Da 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 da! Philosopher's Stone! <laughs> we have a Philosopher's Stone! Woohoo! We can't do Jack Dick with it. So, let's go ahead and claim some quests, because I haven't been claiming uh, any quests. Uh, oh yeah, I had to resummon the dragon. Um, I made a celestial manipulator. No, what did I make? I needed a dragon egg for something. Oh, I remember what I did, but I gotta find the damn thing. Let me find it. Where did I put that? Did I put it down here? Uh, oh yeah, I made a dragon egg mill from extra utilities just so because I had to tear down the farm over there, so. I wanted to have uh, power, so I made a dragon egg mill. So that's I had to make in crystals to resummon the dragon. Uh, so inside of Astral Sorcery, we can claim everything. So we end up with a bunch of our AKs. How many do we have? 200. Can we make any new purchases? Nope, it's 500. 264, that can get fucked. I'm not going to do this until I can duplicate stuff. So... The next thing is Tau. What did I do in Tau? Oh, yeah, I made glowstone. I forgot about that. Um, the glowstone ingot. Um, I can actually show you. I need to get that. Basically, you put glowstone in an osmium compressor, and you get the glowstone ingot. Uh, I need to put more osmium in there before I forget. All right, so I don't know why I keep going down there. We don't have to be standing down there. Uh, let's see. Phi. Bill, Fi, some shit. We have a Philosopher's Stone. Kappa mode. Philosopher's Stone may be consumed. We're not in Kappa mode. So we can do basic transmutations. So. This will allow us to get in a transmutation table. Which is a fuck pile of dark matter. Some neutral steel. Beryllium. Mana. It's not that bad. But. We can also do covalence. Which is Project E. The low, medium, and high covalence dust. Uh, we can do energy condensers, which you need an alchemical chest, which you need the, the shit for. Wait, do you not have to have red matter, 64k? Oh, you don't have to have the tablet. I really thought you'd have to have the tablet for that. Uh, and then dark matter, which gets you into uh, the morning stars, red matter, purple matter, blah, 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 blah. You get the matter shit. So, the way that this works, I'm trying to remember how you actually use this. Um, it says press C. Control. Uh, let's go key C. Uh, crafting grid. Uh, we're going to put that to a light numpad. I don't know. Decimal, two, four, numpad eight, that works. Uh, Botania, we'll set that to bracket. Draconic Evolution, that is always Z for me. Chat position, don't care. That can just get unbound. Extra functions from projects E. Okay. So there's our crafting grid from... The Philosopher's Stone. So, I'm trying to remember how this actually works. I think you can just duplicate items with it. It's like if I grab some emerald, I should be able to do this, right? And then get diamonds. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a real simple, easy way to duplicate stuff. Um, really, you don't actually want to use it for anything. You want to get the tablet. So, we need to get into dark matter. 
And in order to get in dark matter, we have to get into Mobius fuel, which is alchemical coal, which is coal. So let's do, I don't know how this is going to work here. So let's go ahead and do, I don't want to do that. I want to do, 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 do. I want to put that, that, uh, let's do this out of this menu. I need that, I need that, and then, okay. So I wonder if I can make this work. If I shove you in there, can I order, what's that called? Coal. Can I order like, I don't know, 10 of you? Okay, so it doesn't know how to do that. It doesn't know how to reuse this, which is odd. Is there a way to do, you can't make it do that. That sucks. Okay, can I do it manually? So if I bring up like coal, can I do this? I can, and then I need this. Okay, and then I need this. Okay, so I need more of this. Let's, nah, that's not what I wanted. Let's do like a ton of this shit. Okay, perfect. And then we should be able to make a ton of our Tannis fuel. Perfect, and then we should be able to make some dark matter. We can make two dark matter. Now, can you transmute this? No. Okay, so how much of that do I actually need? It says I need six, but I actually need like a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need 36, holy shit. Okay, and then let me click on that, let me save that. Fifth, okay, so that's going to be, oh, fuck. That's a lot to do that. That's like a lot, a lot. All right. Diamond, give me like, I don't know, 10 blocks of diamond. All right, so we finished our dark matter quest. Perfect. And then red matter is just dark matter. I can actually set a recipe for that if I want. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I want that, and I want to set a recipe for that. So what I can do is I can say, make me red matter. Can I make, I doubt I can make 10 of those. I cannot. All right, so I'm going to work. Let's do, there's got to be a way to set that up to be able to work like that. Huh. got to be a way to be able to do this and not just have to stand there and click Hang on, can I? Oh, I could duplicate it. So that gives me 34 in total, right? Oh, 
Oh, you can't duplicate. It just breaks down. Fuck me. <laughs> I thought I was, you know, I thought I was onto something there. Damn it. All right. Um. Hmm. That's kind of annoying, actually. And I can't spell. You make me like a hundred diamond blocks. Perfect. Can I order any red matter yet? No. I have 13 available. Um, let me do some research on this and I'll be right back. Well, I'm fucking stupid because the way you, you do it is uh, actually really simple. Um, you click this little or dictionary substitutions button and it works. So there's that. All right. So then I need to teach it how to make this, which is that plus that substitute and then that plus that. And then there. That's how you can get it to reuse an item. Perfect. And I'm how am I out of these? Oh, apparently some of that's not being read. That's funny. All right. So dark matter. Actually, no. Red matter. Can you make me ten of these? That's going to take a second. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> can you make me one of those? Yes, you can. How long is that going to take? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's slower than fuck, actually. How much red matter do I need? I need six. Can you make me five more of those, or is that just way too fucking po impossible for you? What? Oh, because it's still going with this. Okay. So let's let this finish up real quick. Perfect. Now can you make me... Can you make me five of these? I bet I don't have enough coal. I bet money I don't have enough coal. <gasps> I do! Perfect! So that's going to take an hour, but who cares? How long is it actually going to take? Ow, I'm itching my eye. That hurt. 43 seconds! That's not actually that bad. That's burning through a lot of fucking coal, though. Um. What? Why did this stop working? Did this run out of hammers? Oh, it ran out of hammers. That explains a lot. We're going to make new hammers. Should be the right amount. I think I have too many. Nope, oh, perfect. Awesome. Great. Lovely. Please stop sending stuff in there. How do I get coal? Gravel. Perfect. You're. Please stop doing. Why is it doing the sand? What? Stop doing that. I want you to do gravel, please. Thank you. Make me a fucking asshole of coal. Are you done crafting yet? You're still at 33 seconds. Fuck. I just want to finish this quest line. You know what I can do? I can totally cheater ditch this system. Let's go ahead and break this. Oh, that was a lot of fucking frame drop. I wonder, is this run out of power yet? I think I left this turned on. 
Did I leave this turned on? Yes, I did. Actually, it's not bad on uranium. We're going to go ahead and fucking shut that off. And we're going to go ahead and break this, which is going to be a lot of frame drop. I'm just waiting to not be able to put items in there because I ran out of freaking storage space because I still have a ton of 1K storage disks. So, yeah. That's all empty now. Perfect. Um, I should actually do some more uranium. Or uranium? Eulorium. Well, that wasn't even worth doing. Oh, that's full. We should uh, go ahead and break that too, actually. By the way, I put a infinite booster card here and it won't let me remove it. <laughs> is this done crafting yet? Why is it still crafting? Lying fuckers? It said it was going to take a minute. I don't know how to make this craft any faster. Do I just need more of these? That applied... Let's make a bunch of crafting monitors. What kind of glass does it need? Quartz glass. Can you make me, I don't know, 100 of that? Perfect. Awesome. What? Oh! <laughs> that, that explains why I'm out of calculation processors. Also, there's a weird glitch where I can see through chests every now and then. I don't know why. Yeah, make me a ton of crafting units. Oh, I never made those. Huh. Perfect. Now I can see what's crafting what. Are you fucking done yet? Thank you. Where the hell is all my red matter? What? Why did it stop crafting red matter? I don't understand that. Huh. So what's red matter used for? It's used to make the pickaxes and stuff. Cool. Ooh, a mine stone. So that's the pickaxe. What is that? Oh, that's the hammer. And then the dark pickaxe is just dark matter. That's actually really cool. I kind of want to make one of those. Just to see what it does. It looks pretty. So I need basically four dark matter. That's not bad. All right, I'm going to let this finish crafting and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, I'm back and I figured out why it was so slow. This, These didn't have acceleration cards in them. And for some reason, it's counting this whole thing as one. And I'm not sure why. Um, so it's finishing up making us some dark matter now because I want to make this pickaxe. So, I went ahead and had to make dark matter for us. Um, I also have the... Uh, fucking... Whatever that's called. The miner thing from uh, at Mechanism. The digital miner. I have that in the deep dark right now. Working on getting us some more coal. So, yeah. Uh, how is that not done yet? Oh, it's got like 20 left. Okay. There we go. 
So now we should be able to make the pickaxe. But first we gotta make the the dark one. So does that use That's kinda cool, I guess. Mode is standard. So it's project what is that? That's project E, right? Yeah. Project E. Change mode is G and charge is V. E is G. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off and fuck off. Perfect. Three by three tall shot mode. What is that? Okay, so it does three by three vertically. Wide shot should be left to right, and then that should be long shot should be deep, and then standard. That's kind of cool, I guess. All right, so let's use this to make what? Oh, I hate how fucking a flight ender just does that. Perfect, now we have a red matter pickaxe. Does that thing say, probably not. That's cool. Tall shot, wide shot, long shot, and then standard. That's cool, so what is it? How do you charge it? Or what does it mean by charge? It's V. Don't care, don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Oh! What is that? What? Oh, that's kick ass. Okay, so I want to try. I want to see something. If I take off all my haste, does that still insta mine? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love that pickaxe. All right, so that's our new fucking pickaxe. Because now that I don't have haste, I can finally use fucking... I'm going to use... I guess absorption. How much is it to buy absorption anyway? Uh, let's see. Can I buy more absorption? It's 50. R.A.K.'s. Let's get just a ton of these. Alright, so let's buy absorption. Let's buy another absorption. What's the max on that? One out of five. How many do I have? Three, so this would be four. And then we need one more. Now I have a ton of freaking hearts, which is awesome. And I have an instant mine pickaxe. Oh, I love that. That's so fucking cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the deep dark real quick and try it out. Well, I, and I got to check on that digital miner, so I'm gonna go to the deep dark anyway. All right, so now the question is, can I insta mine while flying? Yes, I can. Woohoo! That's amazing. That pickaxe looks badass, too. Okay. Uh, let me grab this digital miner real quick, because that should have a ton of coal in it. It does. I love how I don't insta break cables anymore. That's so nice. I hated insta breaking cables like that. That and my freaking pickaxe actually moves. It doesn't just sit there when you try to break something. It's awesome. I gotta get all the coal ore out of this. Now, the problem is that this doesn't have uh, fortune on it, unlike this pickaxe. So, 
we will still keep this pickaxe around just for the fact that it has fortune and I haven't set up a way to duplicate ores yet because I've had fortune and I haven't needed to duplicate ores so Oh, I put my wand away. Damn it. That's awesome. Uh, let's rearrange this a little bit. There we go. All right. So, the next question is, do I need to have... Uh, where's that other thing I was thinking of? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well. So we have a red matter pickaxe now. So we can actually use this to make the hammer, but we have to make another one of these. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. I would like to have the axe, too. Um, I like the axe. So we're going to need three red matter and one dark matter, right? Yeah, so one dark matter and three red matter. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let this make... And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm going to work on this applied energistic system. But fuck. This applied energistic system between episodes just because. I don't know what's going on here, but we need it to be faster and we need more storage because we are out of storage on our molecular assemblers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know down below and I will see you in the next episode.